I just won the bidding for a redhead on eBabe. <laughs> I can't actually afford it, but that's what credit's for, right? It's the last ingredient, exactly what Sophie wanted. We hope to start our family next week, once all the paperwork is complete and submitted to our prenatal service provider. We had the final meeting this morning with Miss Jessup, the county parenthood officer. We're having a girl, provisional name Sue, brown hair to be changed, brown eyes, estimated adult weight between 60 and 90 kilos. We really wanted it to be just us, you know, me and Sophie and the baby. Sophie was dead set, something all of our own, but the parent of parenthood officer wouldn't allow it. I'm sorry, Mr. Jones. She really did sound sorry, but I saw an exam certificate on the wall. Emily Jessup has passed customer empathy. You scored 48% on basic baby care. The minimum pass is 60. I really am very sorry. Mrs. Jones scored very well, but your aggregate is still below the pass. You'll have to engage a state registered baby monitor for the first two years. Sophie was upset. I squeezed her hand and she kept it down to an outrage. Two years? Unless Mr. Jones retakes his basic baby care and meets minimum requirements. Mrs. Jessup smiled perfectly. I bet she passed her exams on that first try. I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do. Retake basic baby. That's not cheap. Almost as expensive as two years of baby monitor hire. And I haven't even started on toddler training part one. At least we've got the money saved up for that course, and my parents will help. It's all going to work out if I can pass part one before Sue's first birthday and then do part two. Sophie passed all her basic child raising exams at school. I sort of struggled. Tinkering with an antique hybrid car was more interesting. There are basic baby certificates for sale on eBabe, but they're damned expensive, and if they're not good enough fakes, the fines could break us. I checked my credit limits. Okay, right, baby monitor hire for two years. Excellent. We have two who will have openings in their schedules in nine months' time. The smiling Emily Jessup brought up a new form for us to complete and authorise. You need to make the booking now and pay a holding deposit. And you must make sure you book the baby monitor to be present when the prenatal service provider opens your pod. I'm sorry, but there's a one-off fee for that which has to be paid in advance. Those first minutes out of the pod are so very important. Bugger. But that's what credit is for, right? No. Miss Jessup had that bright look that meant more credit might be needed. You've made a late request to change the hair colour. I'm sorry but red hair is restricted under the population diversity regulations and the quota is fully used for this period. Sophie was ready to explode. We were both born just before the diversity crap came in and she really, really wants our daughter to be a redhead like her and her mum. I got a certificate, I said, and held out my phone. One redhead allowance, a proper official one, not some dodgy black market hack. That's okay, right? Miss Jessup verified the certificate and the eBay auction receipt. That's fine. Your prenatal service provider can use Mrs. Jones' red hair jeans. But there's a fee for such a late change. Um, right, hang on. I checked my phone to see how much more credit I could scrounge up. A quick text to Dad. Probs, your granddaughter, hair colour, help and I got my available balance topped up. Right, here you go. The available funds were sucked down into the county accounts. Is that it? That's it. Here are your certificates. My phone chimed over and over as the documents arrived. Are you planning more than one? There's a discount scheme at the moment. 50% off your next child application fee. Good for up to five years. Sophie gave me a look. We talked about this. At least two, maybe three, and really close together so their ages are similar and... I showed her my phone. My account, her account, our savings, our credit bill. 
Not just now, Sophie said. It nearly killed us this time round, trying to pass the financial rating checks. Perhaps we might just get a dog. A nice, safe, baby-friendly dog, I added, because I couldn't remember any of the rules for pet and baby interactions. <laughs> Miss Jessop smiled. Of course, that's sensible. She stood up, shook hands with Sophie, and then me. The pet licensing officer is two doors down, and you should consult with your baby monitor. I checked my phone. That's what credit is for, right? Thank you.